Tristana, Kilo, nah, in, in Shadow Isle, so he just runs Atrocity then. And Valpies, most likely. 1, 2, 3. I think I keep going 1, 2, 3, 4, since it's not gonna be my attack token, maybe in Tunnel Dances, but I would like to find some early game Harlows first, though. So, Gwen to keep and. Uh, this hand is mighty doo doo, unless I top deck like 1 drop, 2 drops. Uh, that's a good 2 drop, but. He must come rough here. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I can get the lamb out, that'd be awesome. No two. That's oh, where were you in turn one, man? Come on, always like one card away. Um, hopefully this doesn't kill this with Quietus. That'd be great. If it doesn't. That's awesome. You can't even kill this. Yeah, it basically regenerates. <laughs> Most of the time you see this unit just immediately dies, but hey, that's cool. Give me this unit knife to potentially push for four damage again, which is awesome. Better not get scout. Better not get scout. Anyone seen any sheep around Don't get here? scout. I, uh, okay. Fine. Okay, sure. It's still a lot of damage, don't get me wrong, that's elusive, it's disgusting, but could be worse honestly if you got scout just now. There's one it's one hollow keywords already. I could technically glimpse beyond this unit, then it'll be two hollow keywords. Let's play kinda need cards, right? Nah, I guess pass. Going wide should be the play, right? Forcing him out to use like Poke Stake and group shots. Oh my god, what the hell man? That's like two two cards and I top deck one power cap already? You gotta be kidding me. Let's see what he does here. He might mini morph this, but most deck doesn't run mini morph. Yeah, he runs minion, sure. I buff this unit. I mean, he's gonna block this unit either way, right? So I might as well buff this unit up. So, sure. When strains a bit, that's nice. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, he always just blocks these two units. Um, Poki stick to here to deny damage. If he does do it, then I guess I glimpse beyond full value. Ooh, stung. Hmm, annoying. I guess I glimpse, I take my chance to glimpse you on here before you put, has some other Poppy stake, right? I kinda need card draw. This hand is looking really dead. Because I have <laughs> these two cards. Why the hell are these two cards here? Oh my god, man. You can't be kidding me. This group shot. Uh, it is what it is. I'm trying to play around Poppy stake, didn't really realize he runs group shot. Sure, I guess. He gets the hit for 3 damage and level, actually. Oh, Jesus. Where's my uh, Flock and Where's my Sentry? Where's Sentry, but where's Flock? I guess I just play Fallen, Re uh, Fallen Reckoner to give Teemo vulnerable. Wait oh my god. Oh, look, bye bye, Farrowing. Oh, that's annoying. Um, Actually, I think I stung Teemo here. It's not too bad. I don't think I'll draw into my flog in either way, so I might as well just take the chance to stun Teemo here and not let him deal a bunch of damage to my face. That's awesome. And play uh, you and maybe turn 6 play Fallen Reckoner into Pulse. It's not too bad. Just swarm the board. Make it as harsh as possible to try to try to kill me here. So he needs to uh, block, right? Not too bad of an idea. Um. Oh, that's flop. What the hell? It's always like the next card. You gotta be kidding me, game. Weakest. You give the Aloof Traveler. It's not too bad. Forcing him to block with Teemo, right? Which he wants to use as an attacker. That's not too bad. I have uh, three Hollow Keepers already. I guess I attack like this. Do I attack with this unit? He could block like this and probably stack this. But if he does, I just respond to Glimpse Beyond, right? It's not too bad. Of an idea, sure. And we push all one damage. Where's my Soul Cleave, honestly? Soul Cleave pairs up really well with Fallen Reckoner and Risen Reckoner since it just summons two units that force him, him uh, that force his unit to won't be able to block, right? That's a pretty disgusting combo, but I won't be I just don't draw it, surprisingly. I run three of those cards and I don't I draw it every time. You. 13 damage. If I drop that Katarina, I just win the game. So, yeah. Looks like this. Oh, Gwen is not gonna level. Right. Wait, how? Wait, why? A uh, two, six. Wait, why isn't Gwen leveling here? He drains two, and he deals four damage. Ah, uh, six damage. Why isn't Gwen leveling here? Oh, be all because of tough. Is, is that is that right? Because of tough denying that one extra damage, so Gwen is actually nine out of ten. Wow, they actually because of tough, you gotta be kidding me. Sure, I guess. I can end round here, sure. It doesn't do anything, I don't need to do anything. Stun game is not too bad, Tristana though. Um, it's only 8 attack and only 1 impact, it's not too strong of a play. And if he do Oh wait, I'm so stupid, I should've probably just stun get, uh, Tristana and Grieve and flog there. That was dumb. Yeah, let's just do that. 
and he doesn't even have mana to use uh, the atrocity, right? So that he played uh, Tristan and just dies already immediately. Thinking of blocking, but why not just kill it instead, right? What? A group shot here? Oh, I hate Spike. Sure. I guess I just use Glimpse Tune here. Top deck slow uh, Soul Cleave here, please. The new, the new spell. Oh my god, imagine if I get the new spell and internal dancers. That's disgusting. You know, of course he high roll spells you like a boss. That's disgusting too. I think I bank mana actually. Because I have the potential to top deck Soul Cleave and I can duplicate internal dancers to summon two Gwens. That's not that bad of an idea. It's only 5 damage, for sure. He is leveling Teemo, so keep that in mind. So, Teemo's level here. I can pass here. Sure off. Top deck Soul Cleave here, please. It's so disgusting. Ah, man. Hmm. I do think I still just play Internal Dancers. Um. I could technically play Katarina here and just. Rally a bunch, but group shots just denies it because you know he has four units, right? So I guess the internal dancer seems fine. He needs to respond to this either way, he needs to respond to the no I'm gonna end internal dancers at the same time, so he's not looking too good for him. He could like technically pokey stick and fight us, okay? Um, but that's mad. That's smart actually. Um who will be something? Gwen, right? Yeah. Um there's two blockers only. If I just attack like this, I can block block. The two other attackers and Gwen at the same time. You could have like group shot, group shot, but that's not likely. Just attack here, that don't give him the chance to yeah develop anything. And yeah. GG. Imagine that so key there, I can have double Gwen. Imagine. Yeah, did not draw it though, but it is what it is. The possibility is to that spell to stand though, so keep that in mind. GG. Lucian Kalista. Sure. That's a pretty interesting deck. I don't think I keep any of these. I would like my. Oh, maybe quite just to counter his Lucian actually. Sure. Two drop and go. Oh, that's so clean. That's amazing. If Gwen levels, then I'll play Soul Cleave to Gwen. That's flock, but I have no sentry, sadly. Play Lucian here, I dare you. I purposely keep Quietus for Lucian. Ah, man, he doesn't have Lucian. God damn it. That's a bit unlucky by my part, then. Fresh catch. Well, it I could walk with this. I'll pass and see what he does here. Yeah, that's why you be patient. Now you have a better Wild Beast. So I've office this unit and just use a spider link as a blocker to block this. He might have even attack, honestly. Yep, he doesn't. Sentry. I guess I attack the spider link and force him to block. He doesn't. I guess he's gonna play Kalista here and I'm gonna use sentry to block. Yeah. We, we shall not rest until all Read him like a book. What one spell spell? Uh, what? One cost spell could stop this catch technically, but most tech doses don't run catch. Yeah, he doesn't have a spell. Okay, he's dead now. Pretty strong. Probably Gwen here. It's not too bad of an idea. Katarina's pretty strong. Katarina's pretty strong too. That's Lucian. Yeah, let's just go kill Lucian. Yeah. Just don't wanna deal with him. Um, sharp side. Oh, Glimpse Beyond. Okay, sure. That's kind of scary. Hmm. I guess I played this unit. I guess I played Katarina. No going back. I don't get the use of Blade Edge sadly, but that's fine. I don't think he attacks either too, right? Because I have a tree two to block this fierce unit, and I have a spelling to block this unit. He might not even attack. I have no hollow keywords though. That's kind of sad. It attacks. Interesting. Why? I just block. So sure. I guess. Do I develop? Should I develop? Uh, I, I guess I should since I throw W to start getting the hollow keywords back, right? Because I did not have actually, actually have any- Oh, that's disgusting that denies my attack. 
Oh no, wait, no, Katarina can still attack because she has quick attack. Even though I don't make that value trade, she still strikes first, so that's actually pretty strong. And when I resummon her, I can use play as kill this unit. It's not too bad, yeah. So let's go for that play actually. No one gets in my way. So Katarina is level now, pretty strong. Bonk, bonk. Two hollow keywords now. Thank you. So Cleave could duplicate Gwen. Hopefully I throw the internal dancers or the Risen Reckoner so I can soak with those two cards. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. Okay. That's the combo, technically. That's not good though. Oh my god, that's not good. Um, I think I s use Katarina as a blocker actually. Yeah, sure, I guess I use uh, Katarina as a blocker. I'm not gonna take 6 damage here. That's dumb. Flash this unit. So I, actually, I can actually attack it my Spiraling this turn and try to push for 10 uh, 3 damage because of part of the look right. Yeah, that's not too bad. Gwen or internal dancers? I do the play, man. I, I'm, it's so tempting, man. I think I play the one drop first. Pass back priority back to him since I still have 9 mana to exactly do the combo. So let's see what he does here. I can play internal dancers in the Soul Cleaves or we summon 2 Katarinas and give me freaking 2 Katarinas for free again. He doesn't do anything. I guess I gotta go for him. Hope to God he doesn't have vengeance here. Please don't don't vengeance my soul cleave play. Oh my God, that's big brain. Okay, sure. What the hell? He's using that as a blocker. I guess he doesn't have anything then. So this play is always gonna work. It's glorious. Don't don't, don't surrender here, please. Let me do the play, please. Oh my God, why? It's for a YouTube video. You can't do this to me. What the hell? Still GG though, but still that's. Come on, man. Don't surrender. Rise, Ionia. Okay. So, mm. control stuff. That's annoying. Recoil stung. So, one, two, three. This is Nightmax. is amazing. Two drop is nice. Three drop. Get on in and rally. It's not too bad, too, honestly. But I think I could do better. Maybe top deck soul please. Oh, internal dancers. So, it's a possibility that, it's a possibility that I get. So cleave and just duplicate internal dancers to duplicate the summons, not too bad. No, obviously this two drop right. Since uh Rise Ionia doesn't have any Q spell, so this could technically just give me two ghostly bands. He's not gonna block with Vibe the Dragon here. Yep. So this unit is gonna be here chilling, just giving me value every time he attacks, so that's awesome. Turn three. He could play one Delphi in the past if he's lucky enough. Yep, he has it, of course he has. I don't have anything, uh, I could technically stun a flock, uh, I have the dragon. I guess I resolve this. It's really tempting to just play the landmark here, honestly. But dragon link comes down next turn, that's stupid annoying. I guess I gotta queue, I have the dragon here. And I just flock, I have the dragon here. Sure, and we should be fine. This, of course, he top deck got the best world room into my deck. All oh, my units are two on health, uh, two health below, huh? So cleave, that's so cleave to pair with Antonio Dance. That's pretty good. I guess I play this. It's basically the same thing as the Lama, but I can play the Lama next time to get value. He's gonna play Drum Solo here, sure. But that means he doesn't. If he gets Rise, he won't be able to play Rise here. Of course, he got I have the Dragon. I don't think he has any. I mean, this could be a discount for spell technically. He does a block. Sure, it's pretty nice. A spell? Ah, oh, trying to trade, really lucky. So he gets a uh, Dragon Link next turn. Pretty good for him. I could play Fallen Reckoner turn 5 to give I have Dragon Hand Block, so that's nice. Let's Glimpse Beyond, sure. And that's. Wow, well, discounts the Dragon Drum Soul, that's really lucky for him. That's fine. I'm not gonna block that for obvious reasons. I'm gonna play Pawn Reckoner here. If I had a dragon, I can't block. And we should be fine here, honestly. Um, that's an annoying blocker, but I should be able to deal with it. That's fine. Oh, of course, he pranks the two best cards in my deck. And that's annoying. He pranks this one. Um, oh. Hmm. Mm hmm. Next. Uh, one. 
I can actually go for a very spicy play here. I can use Gleam Spion to kill this unit and give Risen Reckoner. I can play Risen Reckoner next turn and play Soul Cleave to Risen Reckoner and uh, give Octopus, Tasty Shuffle, and his Dragonling can block. But that's one in a million because deny and nopify. But I'm here to make those crazy plays, so you won't need to. So yeah, fighters would be nice to deal with. Uh, I have the dragon actually. That's fine. Keep. There's six mana. Um, I could honestly just play eternal dancers here and just stabilize because I will be summoning a polarized reckoner and just get value. But I think I have a. Ch I think I should rather just try to win the game here, right? It's a long shot, don't get me wrong, but it's possible. I mean, hello, only one, or two units. Let's go for that, honestly. I'm here to win, so let's go for it. Let's rise, so that's awesome. Ah, oh, wait, that's not awesome, though. It's the weakest. I only nerf this and this, so Tasty Shuffle actually will be a block here, but I actually still think I should go for this play. It's too spicy to, to not go for this play, right? Let's be honest. Look at this, Bing Bong, can't block. All of his units can block, I don't even need to use Harrowing to do the play. So that's nice, a Soul Cleave. A budget version of Harrowing. Sure. What are you gonna do, sir? That's... Uh, fine, I guess. That's fine. You go down to 0 mana, so you basically can't play anything. So I'm just gonna attack here, and we should be fine. Yeah. Can he block the survive? I don't think he could. Yeah, it's exactly lethal. Look at that, man. So cleave coming in clutch. Yeah, yeah, he blocked. He blocked these two damage. More damage. He needs to block. Yeah, but it's not good enough. So cleave for the win, man. Big brain. Look at that. GG. Uh, Lux Jess. Okay. Might be pretty hard. I don't take any of these cards, like some early game units. A 2 and a 3, 1, 2, 3. Turn 3 won't be a my attack token, so I guess I could play this for free, it's pretty strong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. six turn 6 will be my attack token, so turn, play, uh, turn 6 playing a ton of dances is pretty strong. I'll play you. Wow, well, imagine I have this all turn 1, it's spicy as hell. <clears throat> won't be surprised if he doesn't mistake shot this, yep. He's going to play the 6 core summon 2 3 3 units, right? Most likely. Fighter, sure. It's not gonna be that useful in this matchup, I don't think so, at least. Hopefully, he doesn't high roll and get the scout unit. Ah, that's fine. He doesn't get tough in life here because no unit died this turn. So, yeah, he's not gonna attack. Pretty weak card, honestly. Oh, oh, disgusting. Honestly, I think just attacking seems fine here. I, don't, I think I buffed this, right? So this goes to 4 now, and I can actually kill this with both these too. So sure, it's not that bad. So turn 5, I also play this. Pretty strong play. I'll, I'll resolve this, sure. I'll take the 2 free damage ball. Honestly, I think this landmark needs to be nerfed. I don't know how would you nerf this landmark. It's just strong. This attack token summon a unit that could just buffed up by like a thousand damage because of the hollow keywords. It is insane. But Jace is here, I don't like Jace, but turn 5 he won't have 5 mana right, so technically Jace is not that much of a threat if you think about it. I guess I'll play this unit for now. Yeah, I guess I don't kill Jace right. He's not that much of a threat honestly. Turn 6 he needs to play a 6 cost, six cost card just so we can even level him, so that's not good for him. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Started. Sure man, let's go for that play. But turn 6 I wanna play in terms of dances, but I guess playing the Lemon. Aw oh, man, you gotta be kidding me. No fun. Turn 6 I kinda wanna play a dance eternal dancers, but it's not a lot of good units like uh, kill, right? The strongest unit I have currently is the fearsome unit, but it's not that strong either way. Oh this is strong though. This is giving Jace a uh, hand block and push for overwhelm damage. He needs to use something to kill this now. Thankfully Mystic Shot does work. Ah oh, that's fine though. Text and cannon, test it, and prime. Jace is leveled, so that's that. But I should be fine, honestly. I could technically go for this attack, but I think I go for OM damage. I'm go like this. Nah, I guess I save this unit as a blocker. Sure. This is sound damage, Mr. Shot. Could be. Might be a bit annoying though if you ask Mr. Shot. Yeah. 
The nerf to two health actually mattered. Yeah. I guess next turn I just play the Lama again. Oh, technically I could use Quietus to kill you because like the changes to Quietus right actually works. Sure, not that bad. I'm just gonna use this to buff two units only. It's not too strong unless he just high roll and lose it for all or something like that. But if he doesn't, then it's not too strong for play, honestly. Use of tech. Oh, he gets two though. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Sure. Oh, scout! You gotta be kidding me. That's fine though. Hmm. I guess I play this and you, and next turn I play internal dances to resummon you, so I can give another unit can block. It's not that bad of a play, honestly. I can block this and block this. Sure. I'm gonna play you. I have a perfect blocker for these these two units, so it might not even attack. Oh attacks, interesting. Wow. I gotta go for this. It's only 8 damage, not that much. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna get 2 more hollow ephemeral units again, so that's nice. And Jason, this dude can't even block, so that's awesome. How many hollow already? 6, that's super fast. 8 more technically because of these 2 units. Oh, that's disgusting. I think I. Hmm. I don't wanna play into the dances because he just dies to the 6 cost, uh, do 6 damage to a unit and obliterate it, right? But if he does do it, he only goes to two mana. This turn, it's not that strong. He can't do really. He can't really do anything else, right? So maybe Eternal Dancers here is fine, actually. Sure, let's go for that. Resummon units. I'll just make it camp block. So yeah. So I resummon the the OM unit. Give Lux camp block and a pile of OM. Uh, a one new OM unit and pile of pile of yeah. This is the easy. Triple Lama is absolutely disgusting. So yeah. We don't even champions. Good game.